In a previous video, I demonstrated the principle of causality, which is the first premise of the argument for motion for the existence of God. Here, I will demonstrate the second premise, which is that this causal series cannot be infinitely long. Let us consider a red ball as an example of a causal dependency. Suppose we have a white ball and we decide to paint it red. The red ball depends on red paint for its redness. The red ball does not have this power in itself, but participates in the red paint. We should state this more formally. In a causal series, a red ball can either have redness in itself or a red ball can have redness in another. If a red ball has redness in itself, then the red ball does not depend on red paint for its redness. A red ball does depend on red paint for its redness, hence a red ball must have its redness in another, the red paint. And of course, you can replace a red ball with other examples of causal dependencies. Now, if we turn to the red paint as the next member of the causal series, we can ask whether the red paint depends on anything else for its redness. One could argue that the red paint depends on its parts for its redness, for example, the molecules that make it up. If this is the case, then the red paint would actually have its redness in another, uh, given the previous argument. If we continue this ad infinitum, however, none of the members would have redness in itself. In other words, redness would not exist in any of the members of the series. Now, if redness doesn't exist, then saying that the bread ball has redness in another is simply false. There is no other in which redness exists. Uh, to summarize, if there is an infinite series where every member has redness in another, no member has redness in itself. If no member has redness in itself, no member can have redness in another. Therefore, an infinite series where every member has redness in another is impossible. Aquinas speaks of this sort of causal relation as a per se causal relation and says that it is absolutely impossible. Per se here means necessary, and it refers to the necessary dependency of the effect on the cause. Another kind of relation Aquinas speaks of is a per accidens causal series. Per accidens means non-necessary. The cause is not necessary for the effect to exist. A paintbrush, for example, is a per accidens cause of the ball being red. The ball does not depend on the paintbrush for its redness. The ball could remain red even after you destroy the paintbrush. In this causal series, we would say the red ball is caused to have redness by the paintbrush, but the red ball does not have redness in the paintbrush. Now, Aquinas says that this sort of series could be infinitely long because um, it doesn't suffer from the same problem of having nothing in which the red ball has its redness. The red ball still has the redness in the paint, even if the series of balls being painted throughout time is infinitely long. Could we say that everything is just a per accident series then? No, precisely because the per accident series doesn't answer the question of what the red ball has its redness in nor could the red ball have redness in itself since we are specifically talking about the ball changing from white to red. This means the ball is, as explained in the previous video, indeterminate in itself with respect to redness and must be determined by something else which is determinate to redness in itself. Otherwise, redness would come from nothing and that is impossible as explained in the previous video. So we see that all changes depend on a per se causal relation and no per se causal relation can be infinitely long. Therefore, the argument for motion 
is necessarily true and God must exist.